Thank you um, for having me. I'm not going to trouble you about the damn levels after the rain today. <laughs> Maybe not today. <laughs> All right, well, then we've got the catchment here as right. Yes. But essentially, where I want to go. Yes. National Water Commission. Right. Um, big organization. Very yes. important organization in the country. Absolutely. Should the National Water Commission be um, operating at a profit? Uh, it's, it's, it's a balance that we have to strike, uh, mm -hmm. and I'm answering you yeah. in a caged way. Uh, we need to be profitable in the sense that what we are produ um, producing as water distributor, we need to be collecting that. Mm -hmm. uh, but to the extent that our act allows, mm -hmm. it reasonably says we, we need to operate sufficiently so we can continue mm -hmm. to do maintenance work. Mm -hmm. So, so, so in that sense, yes, but mm -hmm. not to be having excessive margins mm -hmm. for, mm -hmm. for shareholders and so on. We're not quite there yet. So you're really supposed to be delivering a service which is essential. To right, people. essentially, yes. And, and at a price that is also reasonable affordable. and affordable. Mm -hmm. That is the word, mm -hmm. yes. Because when we look at distribution of water, right. It really is a venture that, that, that should be very profitable. I mean, we, 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 we see people buying water, bottled water. All right, place. right. Water has become almost a novelty. Mm -hmm. uh, for us, it still remains a vital resource and one that we are aiming to get into every pipe uh, mm -hmm. as, uh, as best as possible by the, in keeping with the Vision 2030. Um, that the government has set out, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we are currently in excess of 70% in coverage. We're mm -hmm. aiming for 85% by mm -hmm. that 2030 um, mm -hmm. timeline uh, with approximately 30% in sewage mm -hmm. um, connections. Mm -hmm. Persons treat the two different. Um, mm -hmm. Bottled water is seen as almost a separate sector mm -hmm. from piped water. Mm -hmm. And so we, we are perhaps one of the few organizations that is in a position to straddle both. Mm -hmm. and, but it's a dynamic that you have to make sure that water as, mm -hmm. as that essential resource mm -hmm. is available at an affordable cost mm -hmm. versus bottling mm -hmm. and selling it, which now it's takes like on a market, venture. a commercial venture mm -hmm. that takes on marketing cost and competition and, and therefore, as you said, profit margins. And we have to be careful what our role is as, as a commission. But, but, but we've seen, um, certainly based on the, the plethora of people in the bottled water segment, um, that this is, is certainly a profitable business. Why isn't the NWC, you know? Yeah. Again, it's, it's really, so it's not that we're not looking at it now. Mm -hmm. um, if, if I were to concede a little bit, we, we have been looking at the options discussions. and having the discussions. But our core function, mm -hmm. uh, we still cannot veer even off if, from that. Even if though, Delano, not the necessarily the rough and tumble of the commercial local market. Yes, yes. But you've been, 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 been doing like the ships that come in. Uh, yes, we do. Cruise ships we and do. so on. Is there the possibility that you could export water? I mean, certainly you serve the cruise ships. Um, you've, been, you've been given kudos as, as one of the best quality. So certainly you know how to do that. Right, we do. What are the possibilities? Because as we look, and, and, and so while you try to keep the cost low for, yes. for the locals, the local market. there are opportunities where you can go make some money so that you can come back and subsidize <laughs> and, the thing. And, and, really and put in infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, as I said, it's one of those things we are exploring mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. uh, it means having the infrastructural build out that is needed. And so we wanted to make sure the day-to-day -day water supply mm -hmm. is safeguarded and we are quite a way down the wicket in terms of achieving that. Mm -hmm. What I mean is we have a total of approximately 11,000 kilometers of pipeline across mm -hmm. our network. Uh, what customers want to know is that you're not depriving them mm -hmm. of their daily supply in a bid to you now access mm -hmm. another market. 
right. So we have to safeguard that. So even now that we're having that discussion, you know, we have to assure persons that Kingston's water supply mm -hmm. is is safe. You know, the rural people might not be happy with that. Thing. No, man. No, when I say that, <laughs> meaning Kingston is the, the area yeah. most yeah. affected by the drought now. Yeah. There are other places that we have the infrastructure that the sources are mm -hmm. now being upgraded. So we mm -hmm. talk about a Martha Bray, which recently we upgraded what is called the intake. The, mm -hmm. the point where the water comes into the facility, we're accessing three million more gallons of water. Mm -hmm. So once person, the, the Queen of Spain wells, which serve Wakefield and those environment, sorry. So we want to make sure that that is almost airtight mm -hmm. before you say, okay, we are doing a bottling factory, mm -hmm. uh, which is now going to be exporting water. Mm -hmm. um, but it is a very real, very viable mm -hmm. option that uh, if we are to look at it in a that, meaningful way, it could reap some for us. Though, because, I mean, there are issues with the piping and so on. But let, let's, let's look at your catchment yes. and storage. Right. Jamaica, since independence, yes. how much have we changed out the... The, 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 the catchment facilities, the storage mm -hmm. facility, how much have we really built out so that you mm -hmm. know we're not running short in this short time in the land of world. Ah, there we go. So that is the discussion that, mm -hmm. that is confronting us. Uh, to an extent, we have started a little bit late. The Mona Reservoir remains mm -hmm. as built um, for several decades ago. Mm -hmm. uh, the Hermitage was also built uh, mm -hmm. close to a uh, 100 years ago. What we have done significantly mm -hmm. since then is to add to the network mm -hmm. infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So there has not been large storage, yeah. but there has been large pipeline infrastructure. Mm -hmm. The entire stretch of pipeline from the Rio Cobre mm -hmm. into Kingston yeah. is a fairly new one, especially mm -hmm. the part from the ferry yeah. area. Mm -hmm. Uh, coming all the way into downtown mm -hmm. Kingston. Yeah, that's about, that yes, yeah. right. So that's the, the segment along ferry was mm -hmm. completed about four years ago, three, four mm -hmm. years ago. We just completed six miles along Spanish Town Road yes. to Blake Road. Uh, that is an expansion of the carrying capacity that has now added to the Rio Cobra pipelines, which are about 30 kilometers. Mm -hmm. So along the north coast, the entire segment from Logwood, which is almost close to Negril, mm -hmm. into Lucy, all the way to Great River, continuing from there in along the north coast to Marta Bray. Mm -hmm. Those are fairly new pipelines, just a section between St. James and the Falmouth area warrants looking a at A challenge now. that you're likely to come into. Yes. Um, in St. Thomas, I see your, your, your um, government is now building out highway going back that ah. way. But you run the pipeline in the opposite direction, maybe about 20, 30 years ago. You from, mean? From Yalas to come into Kingston. Ah, so that's how, one aspect how, how of how it. How would you handle that challenge as, as, as the development takes place in St. Thomas? Well, challenge accepted, challenge uh, surpassed mm -hmm. or conquered. Um, what a lot of persons will come to realize is that that highway already has a pipeline component in it, mm -hmm. which is so all the p portable, as in drinking water, and mm -hmm. the sewage pipelines are being laid oh, okay. in advance of the asphalt going on. on that, that's right. a rarity. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so nobody needs to dig up the road. <laughs> there you go. So we are we're far advanced. A number of those, they. The, the pipeline program has been broken into several packages. Mm -hmm. And in fact, the challenges we're having in Portland now with mm -hmm. very scarce water supply, which is rare for them, rare. the new pipelines have been commissioned in a couple of places, mm -hmm. which is now helping us to deliver the, the reduced water, but mm -hmm. now helping us to go a little further with it. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So all along from pretty much from Harbor View, where the mm -hmm. roadwork starts. The new pipelines are underground, mm -hmm. being pressure tested and connected. Mm -hmm. We will transfer co existing customers 
over to those new lines um, before and commission them into operation before the road is completed. And it goes all the way to East St. Thomas, around Hector's River, Long Bay, coming back to Port Antonio. And, and that will be supplied from where, though? Ah, so, so the options now, mm -hmm. while we are still, the existing sources will connect into those new mm -hmm. pipes. But it gives us the ability to move water from whether the south coast, meaning um, from Kingston, East, East oh. St. Andrew, oh. uh, all the way out uh, to some areas. So a system, yeah, for instance, yeah, like yeah. Um, we call it Apple Farm or Bachelor's mm -hmm. Hall, uh, it's a system that spans a large area in St. Thomas. We can look at mm -hmm. minimizing that. In terms of new water sources, mm -hmm. uh, the government has, to, uh, Mr. Holness, Prime Minister Holness, in his recent presentation, budget presentation, talked about the Mahogany Vale project, mm -hmm. which should have been the full gamut of the, what we know as the Yalas pipeline into, right, right. into, into the Mona Reservoir. There were other components which would have harnessed water from those hills. Mm -hmm. And the projection is that we're going to assess it and see mm -hmm. how far that water can be integrated to St. Andrew, to Portland, uh, into okay. St. Thomas, and perhaps even into sections of Old Arbor. The other alternative, well, not alternative, the other work that is in train is the content water treatment okay. plant. It's a recent signing of a public-private mm -hmm. partnership it was done in November of last year and okay. is slated to kick off in July, mm -hmm. which is two months from now. Mm -hmm. That will be the construction of a 15 million gallon uh, per day water treatment facility. Okay. Uh, it is expected to take 20 months and will mm -hmm. allow us to extract water from the Rio Cobre, mm -hmm. uh, supplying areas in Kingston and St. Mm -hmm. Catherine. So that is water resilience. Yeah, that's good. Are you looking at new catchment facilities? Uh, so the Mahogany Vale is one, uh, and there is some talk of it. But the pipeline infrastructure now allows you to move your water. Right. We also have recognized that we have been losing a lot of water with the old pipes. Mm -hmm. uh, grandmother would say a bird in the hand is better than two <laughs> in the bushes. Yeah. So we are looking at what we already have mm -hmm. from our existing sources better. and manage it better. Uh, we completed five years of the non-revenue water, meaning mm -hmm. water lost mm -hmm. to theft or leaks. That was completed in Kingston. We have been able to now save 30% more water. Wow. Uh, we started the project now, extended into Portmore. Mm -hmm. uh, after 20 months, we are seeing a saving of 10% in water, but also 30% in energy cost. That's meaning we are, were pumping, 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 and some of that water was going to waste. So we're saving on the pump hours as well. Uh, the program is expected to be rolled out across the entire island, across the next 10 to 15 years. All right. So you, 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 you've done that, and that, and that is great, great yes. news. Um, certainly there is more need for more infrastructure, but that's going to take more money. Right. You're doing something down in St. Elizabeth. I know the Prime Minister had mentioned, yes. um, certainly for the farmers down that side. Right. So, so the, the farmers uh, are a little bit more aligned to the Ministry of Agriculture, okay, so right? Right. So there is some discussion about that because the challenge is a lot of the farmers uh, desperately need water. And so the network has to be extended to them. So Prime Minister, in his announcement, has put some measures in place and some additional funding. Mm -hmm. For our part, though, we have started some work in the uh, South St. Elizabeth region. Mm -hmm. So from, we call it the Hounslow project. It's really from Fort Charles to Billy's Bay. And it's mm -hmm. an expansion, again, of significant pipeline work. Uh, to complement a number of other projects. Uh, we're doing one in Santa Cruz. We're doing one from middle quarters around to New Holland. Mm -hmm. uh, there is also a third one, which is from Pepper, mm -hmm. at the fo our gutters, as you know it, yeah. mm -hmm. um, lifting water from there, going all the way up into central Mandeville. Mm -hmm. As we looking, they're, they're trying to give me the wrap-up. What yes. is so much important <laughs> that you need to talk, tell us about. Yes. <clears throat> so you're doing a lot of work. Absolutely. But in terms of the capacity or where the need is, right? How, how are we bridging that gap? Yeah, where are we? 
So the needs are areas like Kingston, mm -hmm. um, areas like Portland, uh, where Kingston, for one, is one of the most populated places, mm -hmm. but the water is now closer to the north coast or mm -hmm. outer parish like St. Catherine. So the content project is expected to resolve that. The shortfall we are seeing in the drought now is about seven, eight million on a daily basis. So imagine if we already had the content providing us with access to 15 million, we would have been able to, to more than meet the demand. That is what we're looking at. Um, the discussions about the dam um, we're dealing with, with the Mahogany Vale, not necessarily desilting because it's been found to show that uh, it could be more of an expensive venture that may not have <laughs> yielded as much. The, the, the level, uh, right. Okay. And with the reality is that the rivers feeding the dam mm -hmm. might literally be dwindling or being oh. impacted. Mm -hmm. you know, so you have to look at what the viable sources mm -hmm. are. And so we talk with the um, Water Resources Authority and let them guide us on mm -hmm. what they are seeing with the but water trends. I have trends. to bring you back, Delano, but one final question um, before we wrap. Yes. The, there was talk some time about government um, looking to liquidate some of the assets right. um, and send them public. Right. The Water Commission would have come up as one of those that could possibly look at um, selling to the public, maybe via a stock exchange listing. Proud. Is that something that could still be on the cards maybe five years down the road? And would it be a profitable enough venture? Or, yeah. You know, well, to answer the last one, I may not be able to answer the first one, but water is absolutely a profitable venture. Mm -hmm. if, if we are watching global trends, you recognize, mm -hmm. and people have said it anecdotally, that water will become the new gold. Mm -hmm. uh, we're seeing realities in terms of the San Francisco experiences, the drought, the dry spells, the adverse effects of um, global warming. Uh, water is going to be a demand product that nonetheless will also pull and push um, dollars and, yeah, and so on. I, I definitely agree. So, so let's see where the discussions go. So, so <laughs> that's why you're doing all of these things so that it would be valued to the Jamaican people if they buy this company. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. All right. So you don't have to say it. You don't have to make it. <laughs> absolutely, we believe you. Thank you. Um, all right. Great, great, yeah, great. And we're going to bring you back because there's much more to talk about. Looking the forward. The business of water. Of water. And that's mm -hmm. something that we need to have a discussion on. As we always say here on Let's Talk Stocks, we give you information to make better financial decisions. Come back with us tomorrow morning at 9. We'll have another wonderful program lined up for you.